Hello, my name is Sean Burns and welcome back to another tutorial on Autodesk's 3ds Max 2015. This tutorial we're going to start off straight away by creating some basic objects. So we go over here to our command panel, which I explained before is split up into six tabs. So we're going to make sure that your create tab is checked, uh, your geometry and standard primitives. Okay, so this is pretty much just some parametric shapes that have been built into the 3ds Max application. So we start off, we click uh, check box. We'll go down here to our viewport and we will just draw a basic shape. Okay, while we're at it, we will draw a second box that's more of a cube. Okay, now I'm simply just clicking and dragging in the direction that I like to go in let go and then drag up again and click once more to complete the object okay a sphere is a little bit more straightforward like so just click and drag okay and you'll notice here that the sphere lives actually halfway above and below our ground plane if we would like to move that up we can simply just select our base to pivot over here in our um, in our drop down from on our command panel so base to pivot and you can see that the sphere has then gone above the ground plane okay so a geosphere is actually drawn the very same way we just click and drag until we have our size that we like and then again if we want to bring it up above the ground plane base to pivot okay so we have a cylinder option here so we can click and drag to our uh, till we get our base radius and then drag up once more and a final left click and that completes our cylinder. To create a torus, we just click and drag for our first diameter, let go and then drag once more for our second. We can go out or in, like so. Okay, you can slide left or right or up or down. Left or right works a little bit easier. Okay, so we'll go with that. We can also draw a teapot, which is a handy handy little object to be able to, to model up very quickly for the sake of rendering and checking our, our render settings. Okay, so to, to create him, you drag up or down to change the scale of your piece. Okay, so we'll leave him around there, let go. And to create a cone, you simply drag left or right to get your base diameter, let go and drag up similar to your cylinder shape click it once more and then up or down to create the angle of your um of your cone okay we've done a geosphere to create a tube is very similar to the cone and the torus you click once for your inside radius click once more for your outside radius and then drag up or down to you desire till you create the shape that you like and again to create a pyramid you just go in our direction create your base shape then just simply drag up or down to you create the shape that you that you like and then to create a plane you just simply click and drag like so and what we will do actually is just move that guy over like so okay so we have our grid is on display here if you would like to toggle this grid on or on or off, you simply press G on the keyboard and it will turn it on or off. Okay, so there we have some pretty basic and um, pretty basic shapes which are known as the standard primitives in 3ds Max. We can also go down here to our extended primitives and this will give us some more complex shapes and forms. So let's go here go to our hedra like so so we just click and drag and that's him so you can see he's actually above and below okay we can also click on chamfer box where we can actually let's take these guys off of that, off of that plane like so So 
we'll keep this plane for the standard primitives and we will also what we will do is we'll print another plane and here we will have our extended primitives okay so back into extended primitives and let's click on chamfer box now we can click similar to our original cube click and drag to create our initial shape Let me zoom in here okay click to complete the shape of the box and then drag left or right to create a chamfer okay click once more and that completes the shape now if you would like to have uh, a rounded a more rounded filleted um, shape other than just a one clean chamfer you would simply come over here to your um, to your edits and fillet segments so you can say two three four and obviously the more of these guys that you have the rounder your chamfer box becomes so that's another very handy little um, creator you can create an oil tank we're not going to go through all of these I would recommend that you just play around and have some fun with these guys yourself and there you go you can have a spindle shaped piece okay by clicking on spindle so again we're not going to waste too much time but I just thought I'd show you uh, some of the just some of some of the ways of creating some basic shapes and once you have a, a shape created and like I said before you have one chance to edit the parameters while you're creating the object and besides that you just need to go to your modify tab and then you can select your different parameters your heights and all of the parameters that are available for the particular object okay so we have a minute or two to spare so I'm very quickly just going to give you an introduction to grouping and uh, making some sets and um, for selecting your your objects okay so if we wanted to select an object we can press Q and let's concentrate on our two spheres for now our geosphere and our regular sphere so if we press uh, control and click where well, we can select as many objects as we like we're going to concentrate on our two um, spherical shapes so hold down control and check both um, both spheres now you can see over here on our display panel we have geosphere and sphere okay so if you check the little light bulb beside you can see it it toggles the display on or off okay now rather than having to uh, press keep control pressed and clicking through each of these guys what you can simply do is click click select them for the uh, for your initial time you can go over here then and you can go to your sets you can see it in your toolbar click on the little ABC guy you can see this create new set and we're just going to call these balls and that's it click away to, to complete the task and you can see now that when we drop down the balls we have our geosphere and our sphere so we can X out of that guy zoom out now if I click away now both of these guys can be checked independently or I can drop down here from our set and I can click on balls and then you can see that both balls are now selected at the same time okay so that's a quick little introduction to grouping these guys together if you wanted them both to be manipulated as the same part you can click on balls go up here to group group we we'll call these balls and now both of these guys are part of the same object part of the same object selection okay so I hope that was um, of use to you I certainly recommend getting in and playing around with those shapes and getting familiar with them and I will see you in the next tutorial